Hey everybody, we gotta talk about enums. Enums also means enumerations. It's a user-defined data type that consists of paired named integer constants. They're great if you have a set of potential options. Here's an example. Suppose we have a day of the week. Standard, string, today. Then pick a day. I'll pick Sunday. Normally you can't use strings within switches, but we can use enums which are kind of similar. Let me explain. So I'm going to create a switch. We will examine today. Normally we can't do this because it's a string. We'll examine today against many matching cases. Case, Sunday, and I'll speed up the footage. Okay, here's my switch. Depending on what day of the week it is, we'll display a custom message. It is either Sunday through Saturday, one of these days. So normally we can't use strings within switches. This is what happens when we attempt that. Error. Switch quantity, not an integer. Something similar that we can use are enums. They're paired named integer constants. We have a name and an associated value. They're interchangeable. At the top of my program, I will declare enum, then a name for the set of enumerations. Let's say day, for day of the week. We have Sunday... Monday, Tuesday, and you know the rest. You can associate a value with each of these names. Sunday equals zero, Monday equals one, then we'll just continue on with the rest of these. I'm going to group these together like that. Okay, we have our enum set up. This identifier is kind of like the new data type. We're not working with strings anymore, we're working with days. These are a set of potential options. Each option is a pair of a name and some associated value. You can really pick any value. I went with the numbers 0 through 6 to represent the day of the week. I'm going to set today to Sunday. This name. We can now use this within a switch. There's an associated integer value, but we'll change the cases from strings to that enum data type. And this would work. It is Sunday. Within the cases, you could use the associated values as well. I'm going to change today to be Friday. Case 0 is Sunday. Monday is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It is Friday. So that also works, but I don't think it's as readable. Another cool thing with enums is that enum variables take only one value of the set. If I try and make up some value like pizza day, well, we can't do that. Pizza day was not declared in the scope. Here's a few other enum examples. You could create a set of enums for flavors, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, mint, an important note is that if you're working with enums and you don't assign an integer value to each of these names, you'll implicitly assign 0 to the first name, then 1, 2, 3. Kind of like what I did up here, but we explicitly assigned those values. We have 6 colors, or maybe planets. I have a set of enums of the 9 planets in our solar system. The associated integer is the size of each planet in kilometers. So yeah, those are enums. They're a user-defined data type that consists of paired named integer constants. They're great if you have a set of potential options. Your assignment is to post a set of enums in the comments section down below. And well, yeah, those are enums in C++.